G'day Suns members and fans and welcome to the challenge, round 22 versus the Hawthorne Football Club. We're changing tack a little bit this week, uh, we're going to sit down with Braden Fiorini um, and have a little bit of a chat about his season personally, but also get your insight to uh, how you see our football club and where we're tracking and, and in particular give our viewers at home a really good insight to some of the challenges we've gone through and, and what we still will confront. So Braden, obviously uh, still 21 years of age. Yep. So by by far your your most consistent year as far as on field performance. Um, how you how have you seen your year? Yeah. So before this year, the highest amount of games I'd played was I think 13. So um, the biggest challenge for me this year is just the roller coaster of the football year and um, obviously backing it in week in week out, um, training every week and. Um, I suppose the, the mental and physical grind of the year, so that's yep. what I've really learnt this year and um, will, help, will hold me in good stead going forward for sure. You, you say you're, you're your own biggest challenge, like mm. hence why you, you're always analysing your game, you're always breaking down what you can do better. I think yeah. working really closely with you, and this is going to hold you in good stead as the years go by, that you always constantly challenge yourself mentally. Yep. What, what is it in your game that you're doing well, but you probably look more about what you can do better. Yeah. Yeah, in, and a, in a way I overthink it I reckon, so um, I suppose it's about finding that balance. I've um, been working with you pretty closely with that, but um, yeah, I do tend to overthink it and uh, critique my game, but um, hopefully that will hold me in good stead, and, yeah. No doubt it does, but will, mate. I mean, you get insight to all the elite sportsmen around the world and, and they're very similar, so um, I know as a coaching group we've got full faith that you're going to be a really good player for this football club for a long period of time, and that will, no doubt, and you're just learning to shape yourself now. Uh, when it comes to that, that mindset and, and the way you think and, and how to balance those thoughts out. But um, I mean, 45 games now for the, the yeah, football club. Yep, I and is, yep. I mean, by far, uh, your best, best season this year. You started really well. You've been consistent uh, throughout the whole year and, and you're really developing along with those other midfielders um, in your group and in, in around your age group in particular. How do you, how do you see the other guys in around you? and? And give us an insight to that, that midfield connection you guys are building, obviously with Jared Witts, our number one ruckman, our co-captain. Co yeah. But then there's a, a plethora of, of, of midfielders yeah, in around your, well. your age. So how, how does that, you know, what's the challenge there right now, but what, what do you see long term when it yeah. comes to that group? So as you mentioned, uh, Witsy in the ruck and then obviously the other co-captain Dave's been really big for us this year, uh, especially for our young players. So uh, there's myself, obviously Darcy's been going through there a fair bit, Jack Bowes. Uh, Benny Ainsworth, Will Brody. So there is a, a young crew there that um, have had a lot of experience this year and um, obviously been through a bit of tough time with the results and coming up against uh, the competition is great. So um, definitely learning curve this year, but it definitely will hold us in good stead going forward and uh, another pre-season under our belt next year. And I suppose that's a continuity of playing together will help with that as well. So Absolutely. Yeah. To, the, to the people at home who have, have watched our last couple of seasons and um, and obviously it's been a real challenge. I mean, it'd be a challenge for those guys at home, sitting and, and watching and, and continuing to probably see the result they, they don't prefer. Um, maybe give them a little bit of a, an insight to where you see the football club and how it's tracking. Um, this is your fourth year now. Yep. What's the difference you've seen? Where, where is it heading? And what's your, what's your message to those people that, that you know, yeah. are really strong supporters and, and members who have stood by us? And, yeah. Um, What's your message to those? Yeah, obviously, firstly, thanks for sticking by us. But um, as you said, fourth year, I uh, definitely believe this is this is the best year I've been a part of the football club, uh, where it's at. Um, we've seen obviously a lot of younger players and then our leaders as well sign on long term, which uh, shows internally we're doing a lot of things right. Um, so yeah, we've been trying to um, clean up our training standards and uh, our behaviours have come a long way. And um, yeah, we just can't wait for the next. Obviously, finish off the year well this year, um, have a really good pre-season. Uh, but internally, I feel as though we've made huge gains. Um, a lot, we've given an opportunity to a lot of the young boys coming through. Obviously, Ben King's played a lot of footy, Jack Lacocious. So um, we do have a young core coming through. And um, maybe not on wins and losses total, this has been a, obviously not where we want to be. But um, internally, we've made a lot of gains. So we can't wait for next year. It's a great summary, great Austin. Uh to Braden, who's going to continue to, to march forward and, and continue to evolve as a player and as a person and become a very strong leader at this football club. He probably already is at the age of 21, which is exciting in itself. Um, mate, continue, continue to develop yourself, but drive the others around you, and, um, and it will turn very quickly for us. And 
Um, hopefully as quick as Sunday against the Hawks, who were who had a good win on, the, on uh, Friday night against the Giants in the snow, but uh, we now go to Marvel Stadium and um, it's, it's a ground we really enjoy playing at and uh, we're going to take the challenge up to them.